Hi, this is Chris from Engadget. We are here today with Motorola Defy. Now, this is a device that is launching globally, but this particular version is the one for T-Mobile USA. Uh, this is sort of a, a mid-range uh, Android 2.1 device running Blur uh, that Motorola bills as rugged. It is water resistant, um, and it doesn't look like your typical phone. Uh, you see these, I don't know if you can make them out on video, but these are little Torx screws that, uh, that appear to affix the top uh, bezel of the phone to this white strip along the side, and then you have a cover um, on the bottom that uh, I'm not going to take off the cover because it's kind of an operation, but, uh, but there's a, a rubber gasket that the cover uh, uh, sort of interlocks with underneath here and protects the battery SIM and microSD from, uh, from water intrusion. And then you have these, uh, these covers for the 3.5 millimeter jack and the microSD port. Um, I'll show you that. Sort of pivots open, and that should protect those as well. And then on the other side, you have a, uh, a volume rocker, and that's about it. Uh, so let's take you on a quick walkthrough of what this phone offers. It has an OMAP 3610 processor uh, that seems to perform pretty well. The phone does lag at times, and you see that a lot scrolling through the, the list of apps. Uh, I'm not too sure why that happens. It, it seems to be kind of random, but, uh, but by and large, uh, the, uh, the, the, the phone seems to perform when you need it to. Um, Apps that, that are included, you know, as blur phones go, uh, there, there, there tend to be a lot of pack-in apps that you don't get in stock Android, of course. Uh, the Defy has um, the Accounts Manager. This is the same thing that you can get to through settings for managing which accounts that, that blur is keeping track of, Twitter and so on. Uh, you have the T-Mobile App Pack, which is just a list of, of apps that T-Mobile recommends from the market. Um, you have uh, Blockbuster support. Um, so if you go in here, oh, we're not going to go through the update, but, uh, but this is Blockbuster On Demand, which we've seen on, on devices like the Droid X earlier this year. Um, DLNA support, so you can stream uh, media from this to other DLNA-compliant devices. We've seen that on a lot of Motorola's this year as well. Family Room is, is pretty much the creepiest thing I've ever seen on any phone in history. Uh, when you tap on this, it'll say, we have tried our best to figure out who is in your family and have set up Moto Blur in a way that allows you to stay in touch even while apart. Now, as far as I can tell, what this is doing is it's looking through all of your contacts for people with the same last name and then bundling them into a single area, which uh, is weird and, and I don't like it and I'm not sure why that feature exists. And then when you try and cancel out of it, it says you will receive a reminder in 24 hours to continue family room setup. And we're going to say, please don't remind me again. I don't know why that feature is there. It's creepy. I wish it wasn't. Um, <laughs> but anyway, continuing. There's a file manager uh, built in. But this is, I believe, um, just through um, Quick Office. It's the file manager from Quick Office. Yep. There we go. So uh, I personally prefer Astro. And of course, you can download that if you like. Um, there is an IM app uh, built in. Uh, Kindle comes stock on this device, the Kindle app. Uh, manage SIM card, so you can, uh, so you can push contacts to and from the SIM card. Media share, that, that ties into the DLNA stuff. You have T-Mobile's My Account and My Device apps, which are good for managing your account from the phone. You have Phone Portal, which is uh, a one-stop shop uh, for... Um, for managing phone contact for, uh, content from your PC. Now, uh, Motorola devices, a number of Motorola Android phones uh, do some, some auto launch stuff when you plug them in, um, at least to a PC. On, on a Mac machine, it'll just say uh, that, the, that the device was unable to be read, and then it asks you to eject it, which is kind of short-sighted on Motorola's part. But, but this obviously ties in with that noise, which we wouldn't use personally. You can just do mass USB storage, and we wish that it wouldn't do that, uh, that auto run stuff, but what can you do? Uh, Quadrant we installed to do benchmarking, quick office as we, as we mentioned, uh, the social networking stuff from Blur, and that just, just takes you into your, your unified view of the Facebook and Twitter stuff. There is a built-in task manager, which uh, I think kind of speaks to, you know, that reminds me of the old days with Windows Mobile. Um, and, you know, a good task manager is something that's necessary with Android right now. Hopefully it won't be for long. Uh, but that does come stock in the ROM, which would be a little confusing for some users, I think. Uh, it includes uh, Telenav. 
and of course there's Google Maps navigation as well so unless you're you're really into telenav I'm not too sure why you'd use that um, and that's about it the defy does support uh, T-Mobile's new Wi-Fi calling feature which is great when it works it's a little crashy for us on on, on the G2 uh, but uh, but when it does work it's absolutely fantastic and what I'd like to do now is take you into the browser and we'll just show you, show you performance on uh, in Gadget. You'll notice here this is a Motorola's multi-touch keyboard, which we love. It's absolutely stellar. But if you don't like that, Swipe is also available. And oh, searching. Sorry about that. And we'll go to the full site. We're on Wi-Fi right now, by the way. Still loading. There we go. So you can see it scrolls smoothly. And I believe it'll zoom pretty smoothly too. Yes, it does. So performance is good there, and that's absolutely key. Of course, you want your browser to perform well. And uh, as I mentioned before, I think this OMAP 3610 that the Defy has is working pretty darn well. Hopefully, we'll see an upgrade to Android 2.2 before too long, and we'll get even faster. So anyhow, that is a very quick look at Motorola's Defy.